What's going on guys? pre Raptor here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day slash night. Uh, hope you guys are keeping well in this pandemic situations. Keep safe guys. So today's video is uh, based on this guy right here and say this guy's right here. Uh, I should have said. So we're going to talk. We're going to be talking about Roger slash Roger Jr. and Alex if they're going to be in Tekken 7 season 4 or not. So tell me out if you do if you guys are new to Tekken and if you guys don't know who Roger is. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a little bit of a video here of, uh, of like an ending and prologue of Roger and Roger Jr. So Roger is a kangaroo who was a fighting kangaroo who was introduced in Tekken. So here's here's how how that thing works, right? So Roger is a male kangaroo who was introduced as fighting character in Tekken 2 and all the way to Tekken Tag 1. Uh, soon after that, Roger disappeared. Hmm? Roger disappeared and came back, uh, and he didn't come back. So. Here's where the story of the kangaroos intertwine. Uh, since Roger disappeared in the Tekken from Tekken Tag One, Tekken Tekken Five introduced Roger Jr. So Roger Jr. is his kid and Roger Jr.'s mother. So they were both introduced as fighting characters. Where the story is like Roger Jr. is now trying to find his uh, missing father, uh, who vanished from the Tekken One tournament. And since then. Uh, Roger Jr. was a playable character in Tekken 5, Tekken 6, uh, Tekken 5DR, Tekken Tag 2. Uh, I don't know if Roger came back in Tekken Tag 2 because I haven't played the game, but I do know that Alex was uh, a separate character. Alex was a Raptor. Keep in mind, uh, he doesn't tie in with the fam. He doesn't tie in with the Rogers, but he was, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, a close friend to the Kangaroos, right? And or Roger's close friend. And he was a, he he was a palette swap I believe so I I think it was a palette swap in Tekken Tag One, uh, and then he was a separate character in Tekken Tag Two. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I not know much about the kangaroos, but uh, what I do know that that the kangaroos were uh, the original characters of Tekken, right? They were not any guest characters or anything like that. They were original characters. So that that's common sense. So when Tekken started. They were mostly original characters, and so here's here's how I think the plot or how the Bandai Namco de developers think or when they introduce characters in Tekken Seven season or any of the seasons. Uh, they basically they basically judge it based on character usage, um, popular demand, and let's say how the original characters worked for example let's take for example Zafina right uh, so as you guys know I, I mean Zafina and she's my one of my favorite one of the best characters that I play in Tekken 7 right now and so when Zafina was introduced in Tekken 6 keep in mind that it was her only Tekken game uh, where she was introduced in and then later on came to Tekken Tag 2 uh, she did not have much screen time right so she did, she did not get most of uh, how, how she did not uh, she wasn't played in more most of the Tekken, so she came in only Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2. So they decided to give Zafina a comeback in Tekken 7 as with a completely new redesign with Azazel's hand, which is pretty cool. Right? You, should, you guys should check it out. I made a video about it as well. But the point is that they mostly base the characters depending on how uh, how how they were used or how how much screen time they had in the previous Tekken, but Roger Roger Jr. had a, a pretty good screen time. But here's the thing: uh, by popular demand, if people want Roger Jr. back to be back in Tekken Seven, he could be back because he was a unique character, right? He was a unique character. He he had a different move set on its own. Um, he he basically had I think he basically had some of the grabs or uh, some of the moves from steve or king that's that's as far as i can remember remember if you guys are if you mean uh, alex or any other kangaroos let me know in the comments below how, how they worked out and stuff like that but that's how i think the kangaroo uh, how i think they would interpret in interpret a character in tekken 7 season 4 or any of the seasons so if roger had to come back in Tekken 7 season what are you guys thought you guys want uh, roger to be roger jr coming be coming back in season 4 or if you want Roger Jr or keep in mind Roger Jr was a small pup I believe they are called pups right and here's how they could introduce back the kangaroo they could bring back Roger Jr as a fully grown kangaroo 
and give him some different moves now and yeah give him different moves or however they want to make him and they could give him a completely redesign that would be cool to see but let me know what you guys think as well i i, I do not uh, let me let me know your op opinions on if you want roger how you want roger to be coming back how to how to make roger come back in tekken 7 or if you want alex alex was a pr pretty decent palette swap as he was a keep in mind he had the same moves i believe and he was a palette swap but he was a raptor uh and my name is raptor you know i mean of course i would play him but uh, th that's that's how i would think that um roger jr would be back or roger would be back in season four uh yeah that, that I, I had to make a prediction video based on this oh, oh by the way if you guys uh haven't seen my season four almost uh basically confirmed video it's i'll link it in the description i'll put in one of the cards here so you can guys just can check it out because it's season four is basically confirmed and since we are having these tournaments but uh, sadly due to the fact that of uh, the covid situation that everything is postponed uh but nevertheless we are still going to have these tournaments and we are still going to get these um uh, reveals and such season four is a high possibility and it's basically confirmed by michael moray in one of his tweet which i made in my other video i'll just link it in the description and in the card so you can just click on top there and yeah that that's what i wanted to make a video about let me know what you guys think in the comments below that being said you guys are awesome stay safe peace Legends never die when the world is calling you can you hear them scream